I was 10 at the time. I found my mom on her bed. She was drunk when I came home from school. Uh, I knew what I wanted. It was so easy. She was so vulnerable. So I just, I, after I did it, I was so satisfied. I couldn't help but take her wallet. I'm no priest by a long shot, and I never wanted to be one anyways. The collars and morals are too tight. I've gotten away from myself, away from Robbie, away from Da Vinci, which is what started me off to begin with. Da Vinci, real psycho's psycho. I mean, this duck's not satisfied with creative ways of killing. He's got to paint masterpieces on him when he's done. I don't get out much anymore, because taking confession is a damned hard thing to do all the time. Think about it. Everyone's always wanting tell, 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 the darkest, the dirtiest secret ever brought to light, or sometimes the silliest of details that have been plunging a body for years. I was in the eighth grade, and there were these pair of shoes I couldn't afford. So while the manager was in the back helping a customer, I stole them. It's okay, buddy. I stole my neighbor's cat. It's okay. His name was Mr. Whistler's face. Kind of bad. Uncreative one. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's okay. No big deal. That's why I stole it. Just give it back. I did school. I went to a concert my mom said. Couldn't go to. I love Kesha. I wonder how I managed to listen, not go crazy. I wonder about those confessions. Do they just burn off in the saying? So anyway, I've been working with law enforcement agencies on and off for years now. What gets me most is when I'm hanging around all these cops in suits, they start getting itchy too. They hate this, knowing my rep, but sooner or later they start confessing everything under the sun to me. A couple of them have gotten into serious trouble as a result, but what the hell. Art imitating life, or in this case, death. Death imitating art. But I was talking about Da Vinci and Robbie. I'm not exactly sure how the two are connected, but every time Da Vinci hits, I dream about Robbie. Don't ask me what it means. I take confessions, not read dreams. I follow Robbie to the woods, thinking whatever I can feel squirming inside him will finally be out and done with. We're close to the old clubhouse, and I'm thinking, thank God I stopped him before he buries someone or something in there. I feel myself going down. I didn't see the hammer, and I guess neither did my face. I wake up, my vision blurry. I didn't stop. I told you. It was supposed to stop. What's wrong with me? That it won't work. Nothing's true. None of it and all of it. Seat taken? Seat's free, but I'm taken. That remains to be seen. So, you want me to confess? Excuse me? No bother. I know a beacon when I see one. Beacon? Robbie says hello. You know, if I start, I don't have to stop. Not until I want to. Why not? Because I'm not from your neck of the universe. I don't have to play by your supposed rules. I'm here to finish what I started. I want to run, but it's like I'm back in that clubhouse. So this is all about unfinished business. All the people you killed who were just taking care of old business. I'm sick now, ready to bolt, ready to puke all over me. Easy with guys. You're a hunter, just like me. Keep it falling. Don't let them off too easy or I'll eat you up. Do you always tell people when you take care of your first business? No, just you. You're supposed to just know that when people you love are dead. I don't feel an absence, but how am I supposed to trust them?